G'day, and welcome to the Heatsick Daily Challenge for the 6th of May. We are dying, frail, technophobic, X off world, and uh, unusually enough, we have a ranged weapon, even though we can use melee ones. Uh, we're, it's a pacifist run. <laughs> wow, this is an interesting daily <laughs> to try and deal with. Ouch. Hmm. So, first things first, how is everyone else going with this? We have one perfect by Seamus Donahue. Well done. 4 minutes and 16 seconds of mission time. That, oh wow. That is really impressive, actually. Just because we're dealing with, uh... I mean, knowing that someone else has a perfect means I'm going for it. But, uh, just knowing that everyone has a heat sensor here, that's crazy. Okay. So, got a trap we can throw. Because we want to grab this key. We want these guys to be out of the way. Uh, once we've done that, routing, routing, routing. Here works to a certain extent. We kind of have to run through here. But I'm not sure how we get through and get the key then. Um, we could potentially grab this. Otherwise, if we can get past this lot. Is this reinforcements? No, it's running away, but it's a 20 second timer. Yeesh. Um, ideally, we would like to get whatever is in here. But that requires us to get through here without setting off the guards. So, um, let's see. We're going to throw an acid trap. Up. Oh, fuck. Oof. Wow, um, that is crazy to me that that even vaguely worked. All right, I want to throw this as far as it'll let me go. Nope, that's not quite where it needed to be. Um that again it's missing the corner that I'm trying to hit all right let's try this there no why you're not bouncing off at the angle you say you will that is bullshit there no it's still it's never going where it says it should go that is a fucking no no fuck 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 give me this all right unless i get something real useful here i'm probably screwed Okay, let's see. That's really annoying. Just the, on multiple levels that that things did not function the way they should have. All right, I'm going to teleport here, grab this key, and run. Long range sidewinder. So I need to make sure. Oh, right, even better. Not that I think this will work, because frankly I would need... I needed to get through that first lot without being hit. Um, where are we going? Here, we're porting to here. Yeah, I needed to not have this happen, basically. Got 10 seconds to get in and, well, to get over to the captain. And I'm trying to go past a guard pod. Like, I've almost certainly completely lost this one. I'm so annoyed by that messing up with the gun. Long range crash beam. Okay. That's not the worst. I can potentially get to where I need to go. I said go, you stupid thing. Ah. Uh. Okay. 
Not what I needed. No, no. Oh, for. Mm. Steal. Throw you. Throw you. Give me. Thank you. Okay. What? Ah. Okay, I'm way too close. I'm just going to get shot here. Okay, apparently I'm not. Give me this, throw this there, and let me go this way. Okay. I should never, ever, ever have gotten away with that. Okay. And I still might not. I said throw! No! Mm, fucking! Okay. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Like, I know that actually it's not that ridiculous. What is ridiculous is relying on this as an approach. But... And it's also that I keep trying to throw with left click when I'm using right click. Give me this back. I'm going to throw at you. I said... Mm. <sighs> Have I mentioned how much... I, how annoyed I am by some of this shit? Okay. Give me this. Throw. Throw. Take. And we're dead. <laughs> Alright, well, that was about what I expected, honestly. The fact that I got that far is amazing. Um, I am not surprised by that. The screw-up at the start is basically what ruined everything. Uh, the fact that the acid trap doesn't bounce according to the prediction is very frustrating. Like, it should have bounced off the wall twice, according to the preview that was shown to me, and it never did. <laughs> It always went further, and then I threw the wrong thing. I should literally have taken the gun off. That would have been a better approach. And then potentially I could have gotten through. Uh, really well done to Seamus. Uh, I, uh, I really I feel like I should give it another go, but I'm mostly angry at that. Like, it is literally, <laughs> it was an infuriating experience. All right. We're doing this. So, here we are, trying again, because I might as well. Uh, I mean, I'm homesick, so I might as well use the extra time. Okay, so again, we can go here. And we want to get things to move properly. So we're going to throw here. And see where it ends up. Every time. That said, that was actually perfect. And then I'll take this. But every freaking time. It was just went past. The fact that this time it went past both is what saved us. Um, now you turn around, yeah. Okay. So now I can do the same kind of thing. Uh, except not throw it far enough. Okay. 
Give me. Unlock. <laughs> okay, so we got as far as the first key. We really do want to go down this way if we can, though. And that is going to be tricky. Because we need them to get over here. Which basically means chuck this down this way. One of you will go. Thank you. Okay. Great. Now, I'm going to try the same trick. Because since they're both patrolling, I think this should... No, it didn't. Uh, Alright, I want to get them patrolling. Both of them. Have I mentioned how pacifist runs are annoying? Okay, so you're going to patrol. Let's see, if I throw this, can I get the other guard to move? Because I need both of you to move. Both of you. Not one, but both. Like, it could potentially have gone around this way, but I don't think it's going to work. Okay, yeah, you're panicking, so you should move. Fucking leg it. Hurry up. No, seriously. I really need you to just move your freaking ass. You're going to stay panicking now, which is not great, honestly. But I really, I need you to move. I need you to... Good. Good. Okay, you should turn in a moment. Okay, now we deactivate the sentry and we run. Okay, good. You spotted us, but you spotted us too late. Okay. Next. We see where you are headed. Hopefully you're headed up. Yep, you are. Good. So we're just going to try and edge around the edge of this room. I think we should be able to get away with this. This allows us to get the crash beam, which will prevent alarms. Also, even if the guard turns around, we should be able to get away before they have a chance to do anything that will matter. Right, we really want to see what's in there. All right. Unlock everything. Okay, we're going to just run for it. Okay, you literally don't have enough time. Excellent. Right, now let's see what is in here. We, I mean, the thing about technophobes is they need all the gear they can find. That That's just how it works. Right, and this is just a mission with a really freaking hard first door. Self-charging long-range subverter. Not the worst. Also, not actually great for us. But not the worst. So, a subverter and a crash beam. The trick is then making it through here. Honestly, I'm not sure how we do that without trying to repeat the ridiculousness that was my initial entrance. Um, which, frankly, should not have worked. I'm amazed that it did. And, I mean, obviously it didn't actually fully work. So, you know, there's that. And since we're frail, we can't even rely on a guard hitting us and then giving us a free ride out. So, what can we do? We have a quiet shotgun. We could, say, teleport to here, shoot our shotgun, and then get the guards to come out. We could wait for you to come back, 
open the door, steal, pop through to here. That's probably our best bet. Is actually waiting for you to return. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I hate waiting this much. This is the worst, but it's also just how pacifism dailies can work sometimes. The game, especially technophobe pacifism, it's better than it used to be, but the game is always delighted in giving really ridiculous pacifism dailies. So yeah, here we're very specifically going to wait for you to return. Of course, you have the longest possible frickin' patrol route. So did, is this how Seamus did it? Like, did he have literally this entire budget spent on this ridiculousness? Okay. Okay, so yep, you start going, uh, intruder, and we go, yes, that's true. But also, I'm out of here. That's way more practical than any other potential one. Uh, how are we doing with this? You, uh, you're a glitch trap. That could be useful. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I'm just going to pop you over there. Thank you. And now, I can break this window. Having only a gun for this is particularly bad for us. Because obviously, that could have been... Uh, if anyone ends up with a glitcher, uh, like with teleporters, uh, they'll teleport to where the sound is, and that's our only way of breaking glass right now. So, yeah, this is a real shit deal. <laughs> As evidenced by the fact that I already lost it, but that was a minute and 52 seconds. Oh, look! Glitches! Fantastic! Fantastic. So, again, we just we need gear as quickly as we can, as best we can. Okay, so, and of course, this is, in the, the ideal way, completely set up to screw us over right from the very start, with a set of guards right where we need to run through. Uh, is there any gear on this ship? No. That's a blessing, at least. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to get someone to come to us and we want to steal this guy's key alright so what can we do we can oh we can be like yes thank you thank you game you have given us a slight reprieve except that we still need to get past these guards so yeah I'm really impressed with uh, Donahue getting this done in four minutes. Like, having dying is just like the icing on this cake. It's just everything is as difficult as it can possibly be. Alright, so we got the first key. That's good. We can't get past these guards. That's bad. There's not really a way of dealing with that right now. Uh, we can wait for that guard to go back. Um, this is where, like, you start having people say, why don't you just, like, break the glass from the outside? You can't. Uh, Alright, there is gear. There. Which is something that's probably worth trying to get. So. Let's see, we got the key, but we need to get the guards away from there. Wait. What if I did this? So I threw you. Oh, fuck. Threw you. Uh, 
Okay, I'd wanted to actually get that around the corner, but the throw physics again betrayed me, and instead I've just paused you. One of you should start patrolling. So what I think we want to try and do is we want to try and get multiple guards patrolling at once. So let's see, if we did something like that. I said throw. And nope, you still do it. You monsters. Throw. Okay. No, that was dumb. Alright, now I've got you panicking right there. Uh, what do I want to do here? This is one of those times where it's just like, do I really want to just bother with this? Because frankly, I don't. Not really. Let's just go over here. I'm just going to crash you. Of course. Um, they're gonna get themselves. Okay. So that's 12. <laughs> this makes perfect sense as an approach, right? Pop. That's three. Four. This is the dumbest plan I've had for a while. And it didn't work. Alright, whatever. That's two attempts. I'm not doing more. Um, when your best plan is, what if I just make them run out of bullets? Uh, then you know you have messed up. Not a fun daily, in my opinion, but I'm really impressed with Seamus Donahue managing to get a perfect day. Uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.